Our fall calf camp series wraps up in Highland County. It brings me to the farm of Nathan Brown. Our calf camp series is brought to you by Precision Agri Services Incorporated. They are the Ohio dealer for the Agro Eco Power ECM module system. More power, more torque, and less fuel for your vehicles on your farm. Visit them at precisionagriservices.com. So I've been trying to get this cab cam in for a while with Nathan, but between coronavirus scares and the weather not cooperating, we finally get down here in December for this, uh, this cab cam. So Nathan uh, talked to me this summer about a project that he was doing with some cover crops and corn spacing. So let's talk to Nathan about the test plot that he has out here today. Well, uh, with all the hype uh, t these days about cover crops and trying to graze, I had heard about planting 60 inch corn. And so this spring I decided that we would try to do a couple passes here uh, with 60 inch corn. And, and basically what we did was I turned every other row off uh, but uh, the rows that we're planting, I kept at the same population as my 60 inch or my 30 inch rows. So we're planting at 32,000. So my 30 inch rows have 32,000 plants per row, where my 60 inch corn had 64,000 plants per row. And your goal with this, you're a big, big cover crop guy, and you believe in the value of cover crop. But really, this was a test to see if you can get cover crop established and then bring the cows in and graze it. Correct. Yeah, that's the that's the hype with 60 inch rows. Uh, being able to get your cover crops established in June, really, you want to get them done around that V4, V5 stage. Uh, where actually, I was a little bit late getting these done. We were a little closer to V6 or even pushing V7. Um, but you want the goal is to be able to get your cover crops established, uh, bring your cattle out here, and graze them on bigger cover crops in the fall and uh, use the, that grazing to make up for maybe some lost revenue with the, with the green side of things. So the cover crop that's here today and as we went through, um, you got a nice stand with the 60 inch rows compared to the 30s. Yeah, there's uh, definitely is better stands there. You can see we had uh, pretty good light infiltration down to the soil and that's, that's really what it takes to get those cover crops going and, and um, grow and uh you know in my 30 inch rows we we still are finding covers out there but you know the growth on them the ones that are there nothing compared to what the 60 inch rows are bottom line we did a test plot it's it's a test did it pay or can it pay it would be real tough this year on paying we were about 26 and a half bushel less on the 60 inch rows uh you know, 418 corn, you know, you're $110 an acre, less revenue, um, but you get the cattle out here or whatever you're gonna graze, uh, you can make up a lot of that lost revenue. And, you know, it's it's really hard to uh, to measure the, the soil health benefits that you're gonna get out of it. Long-term, will it pay? Probably. We, have, we actually grazed this last year, uh, this field, and you know what we've seen out of our yields this year was our first year uh, cover cropping and then grazing in the fall and we're really excited about what we saw so far now you know was this a one year you know really good crop year who knows but uh, i think the you know we're, we're starting to see those soil health benefits and, and i think i'm really excited for the future so the 60 inch corn went roughly 203 the 30 inch went to what, 227, 230, yeah. 230. Um, pretty good corn. So as an average down here in, in Highland County, are, I'm guessing you're pretty happy with both of those yields. Oh yeah, I'm very happy. You know, this was a tough growing season down here in the southern part of the state, you know, just as well as it was across the whole entire state. But uh, we had some late planting. We didn't really get, uh, get started planting until Memorial Day weekend. And, you know, really the first first week of June was when we got most of this stuff planted and overall we're really pleased. Thanks Nathan. I'd also like to thank Precision Agri Services for sponsoring this year's Cab Cam Series. Again you can visit them at precisionagriservices.com. For the Ohio Agnet, I'm Bart Johnson.